Good morning, everyone. Wynn Brown here uh, with an update for you at about 10.30 in the morning on Friday the 13th. I want to give you an update on what's going on with our response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, as of today, we have uh, three presumptive cases that we have uh, seen at, in the Haywood Healthcare System. Uh, two patients are at home and we have one inpatient at Haywood Hospital. Again, for a presumptive patient, that means that they ruled in for testing and those tests have been set out and it will take anywhere from 24 to 48 plus hours to get uh, the definitive diagnosis from those tests. So though we have tested three patients total uh, between all of our Haywood Healthcare facilities. Um, we are going to continue to continue with the visitation uh, control at all the hospital entrances as well as the screening at our ambulatory services. So that will continue and we will tighten that up over the weekend to single entrances at both hospitals. Um, we will now increase our communication to all staff to two emails a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon to try to be transparent and keep you up to date on everything that is going on around our health system. You can also email me off our intranet site, ask the president, and I'll make sure that we get those questions answered for you as well. I continue to encourage you all to take precautions and wash your hands and sanitize your hands regularly uh, and encourage everyone in your family to do that as well. On Monday, this coming Monday, we will, we will no longer do for the time being inpatient surgery. Uh, elective surgery that requires an inpatient stay to make sure that we have bed capacity. So this is really uh, orthopedic surgery and bariatric surgery in particular uh, that we will suspend and reschedule to a later date. Um, we are also assessing our outpatient services and ancillary services to see what we can move off site um, or ones that we might suspend for a period of time as well. Um, with that, knowing that we will maybe be closing down some of our, our ancillary services for a short period of time, we will use that those staff to create a labor pool to help staff other parts of the hospital. As we go through this process and the, and the pandemic continues to escalate in our, in our region and throughout the country, I encourage you to be flexible, to be supportive of one another, to remember to communicate with heart and to express our care values in all the work we do every day. Thank you very much.